it's Miranda, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hey, subscribe, become a member of the Slashed Squad, here I review products you won't feel guilty buying, and do looks you can actually recreate at home. Today I'm very excited because we are addressing a problem that I hear a lot of you have when you go to the drugstore to find makeup, specifically women of color, and finding skin tones that match yours. I'm kind of on the cusp of like light medium sometimes depending on the brand and then sometimes I'm just medium, medium dark depending on the brand. Um, there are definitely some brands that are better than others but today I am talking about Iman Cosmetics which of course is spearheaded by the gorgeous supermodel Iman who has made it their mission to really fill that gap for women of color in the makeup industry. It's crazy to me that in 2017 there are still brands that completely ignore skin shades from medium to dark to really dark especially because us women of color are such a big part of beauty consumers. It's just kind of a really strange decision on their part. And I'm not just talking about foundations and concealers, but I'm also talking about contour shades that'll work for us, blush shades that'll work for us. Specifically for me, I am half Mexican and it is still hard for me to find shades in the drugstore that match me completely, whether it be the undertone of a foundation or maybe a contour shade isn't dark enough for me to actually contour with. So that's what Iman Cosmetics is trying to change and really fill the gap for women with medium to dark dark skin tones in the drugstore. So they're available now in like Walgreens and Target, a lot of accessible stores at affordable prices. So I'm very excited to partner with them on this video. They sent me some of their products to try and I have to say that I'm obsessed because some of these things just work better for me because of the thought that went into it in terms of skin shades. So I'm going to share with you some of my favorites from the brand and hopefully if this is a struggle you've been feeling you can find a store near you that sells Iman Cosmetics and I will leave the link below to kind of explore their brand and also find where they're sold near you. But stick around till the end of the video because I will be giving away some of the products so just just stick around okay? So first off, I want to talk about a couple of the face products that I'm really liking, and this is pretty much one of the more important parts of finding shades that match you, etc. Um, not so much with primer, but their Time Control Undercover Agent Oil Control Primer, really awesome for combo skin specifically because it feels super hydrating, but it still controls oil under your makeup. So I just wanted to give it a little shout out, even though this has no shade to it. Okay, so the first actual like face product with color in it that I want to talk about is the Skin Tone Evener B cream. Is it me or do brands think that when it comes to BB cream there are only three types of people who want it because as opposed to foundations where sometimes maybe they'll have six to ten, uh, BB cream is always like light, light, medium, medium. Maybe dark if you're super lucky, but Iman Cosmetics is like, no, we know that you want like a shade that actually matches you and you hope it doesn't just like blend in. So this is the shade Sand Light and again, I'm one of the lighter skin tones that Iman Cosmetics caters to, but this matched perfectly. A lot of times BB cream, I have to kind of just like blend it out really sheer because I know the shade doesn't match me, so I'm just kind of like hoping for a little bit of evening, but I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose unless it matches you. It's very light BB cream. I would not say that this will give you a lot of coverage, but like the name suggests, it's a skin tone evener. So it does kind of soften the appearance of any unevenness, any blemishes, um, and you can always kind of build it up a little bit. It does leave a dewy finish, very much like a traditional BB cream. And I'm just very impressed with the fact that that's not something that I thought of before. I was kind of like accepting the fact that there was never going to be a BB cream that matched me perfectly, which is very sad. Um, so the fact that now I have a BB cream that matches me, it does its job, love it. Now when I use BB cream because I have combo skin, I do like to powder a little bit down because I don't want to get too oily even if we've used the primer, you know, BB cream is very like moisturizing. So I used the Luxury Pressed Powder in Sandlight Medium and this is like a typical pressed powder. It will actually give you a little bit more coverage. So this was perfect to use with the BB cream for me specifically because I have acne prone skin. I do have a lot of unevenness. So using this over the BB cream helped not only add just a tad more coverage where I needed it, but also kind of took down the dewiness a level so that it didn't look dull. I don't think it looks dull at all. I still have like a radiance about me, but it wasn't feeling like slick on my face. Next up, have you noticed that my brows are looking freaking amazing? Uh, not to toot my own horn or anything, but really I'm actually just tooting Iman's horn. So this is the perfect eyebrow pencil and I'm not a huge fan of eyebrow pencils. I typically use like 
twist up crayons or I'll use powder or whatever but let me tell you why I love this it has a stiffer feel to it so I feel like I have a lot more control in creating very thin and feather like strokes into my brows also on one end you don't have a spoolie but you have a brush which actually works really really well to groom the brows and place them exactly where you want to while still like keeping the product there sometimes with a spoolie when I'm brushing through it like picks up the product off my brow but because this brush is the way that it's designed it kind of just like keeps it there and it picks up the hairs individually and places them where you want it and it looks super feathery and natural this shade is blackest brown which matches me very very well because my hair is very dark and some people mistake it for black but it actually is brown if I put like black shadow in my brows it will look super crazy but it just looks natural that's like the the best thing I can say so for what I'm wearing today I specifically used two of the Iman perfect eyeshadow pencils I used the green which is called deception and then the gold slash champagne called intrigue I love chubby eyeshadow pencils because they're so easy you can just like you know throw them on the lid blend it out with your finger or a brush if you want to get more precise with it what I did was I used the green in each corner of my eye and then made it a halo eye with the gold in the middle I was really impressed with how pigment these were and they're so easy to blend out with your fingers so this can really be like an apply and go type product but I have oily lids so these do have a lot of slick to them so these actually work better for me personally as eyeshadow bases but if you do have drier lids you can totally just use these and get going back into face products and you can probably tell I'm going in the order that I did my makeup for this video in I used the luxury contour trio and this is the one that really surprised me even though I don't know why I would have been surprised at this point because obviously all of these products are so good for my skin tone and darker I just wasn't expecting it to be so pigmented on me because with normal drugstore contours I have to really really build up to get it to be as dramatic as I typically like my contour I don't know about you but I like a good Kim K contour sometimes so I was putting the contour shade which is the darkest shade in this palette on and as you can see <laughs> took me by surprise it was very strong so I did end up kind of blending for days and I used the face powder to blend over it just to kind of lighten it up so I used that to contour and once I got it to be like an appropriate strength for my skin tone it looked really really great and it is a cool contour which is so freaking important because shadows are not usually warm there is also to note a bronzer shade in here which is a little bit warmer it has shimmer in it so you can add that um, color to your complexion around the face I did use the highlight shade which is this beautiful champagne with golden undertones which looks amazing on medium to darker skin tones it really makes it look just more rich and warm and not necessarily ashy which a lot of lighter um, highlights can do to darker skin tones so I use that with a fan brush to add the glow into my face as if I needed any more after that BB cream and then for the blush this was also something that I did not expect to be as pigmented as it was, but this is a little luxury blushing powder duo, and this is the duo called Posh, and as you can kind of see, it has two very close together colors. One is more rosy, one is more like mauve. I just mix them together to create the um, rose effect that I have on my cheeks today. Let me tell you, this also needed some blending out. This was also very pigmented. Let me just kind of do a swatch on my hand because I was like, whoa. There you go, like that is crazy. So, you know, obviously when you have more melanin in your skin, you got more natural pigment that you're trying to top with makeup, you need that extra pigment. You can't be working with these sheer products because they're not going to show up on your skin. So that is kind of like the underlying theme of all the products that I was trying from Iman is that, you know, they're pigmented enough not only to complement your skin in terms of the shade itself, but it'll actually show up. <laughs> Lastly, I topped off this look with the Luxury Moisturizing Lipstick in Iman Nude. And this is a really nice nude. This one does have that warmth to it. It's got like a tiny bit of like peachy, almost orange undertones. So it's gonna look really nice and not like blank out your lips, but still have that nice nude effect. And they've got a ton of great lipsticks for darker skin tones that will actually show up, like dark purples and dark reds. Let me swatch a few for you. For me personally, my lips aren't all that dark, but I know some other women of color whose lips have a lot of pigment naturally, so it's hard to find lipsticks when they're sheer or they don't go on evenly that, you know, actually applies full coverage. So this is 
the shade Drama Queen. Freaking gorgeous. And just look at this. I mean, do we even have to say anything about this? Because, like, amazing! Now, they do have a shade called Sheer, which is on the lighter side. It's almost like the nude shade, but with um, shimmer in it. And it's got those warm undertones, but still super moisturizing. It glides on really easily, and it's even. It's pigmented. You're not going to have problems covering any pigment that you already have on your lips because it's not going to be, like, streaky and weird. Let's do one more. This is called Fetish. This is, like, a deep, dark, purpley brown, I want to say, or maybe it's just brown. Let's, let's find out together. Oh, my God. Can I just have like a goth moment though? Because I need to wear this at all times. <laughs> Those are some of my favorite products from Iman Cosmetics. And as you can see, the kind of theme of this line is amazing pigmentation that will actually show up on women of color, um, shades that actually match women of color, and generally just great formulas as well. So again, if you're curious on where to find Iman Cosmetics, the link will be below to their website where you can check out everything that they have to offer. So earlier in this video, I talked about doing a little giveaway, and luckily because I am partnering with Iman Cosmetics for this video, I am able to give one of you a real cool prize. One of my beautiful Slash Squad members will be able to win one of Iman's concealing foundations as well as the Guilty Pleasures lipsticks and this is available only from the brand. They are not in stores yet. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is of course be a subscriber and comment down below which makeup item is the hardest for you to find as a woman of color. I'll be picking the winner one week from when this video is posted so check below for the date and I will reply to the winner on YouTube so make sure the notifications are on, click the bell next to the subscribe button, so forth. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like this video. If you like these kind of brand introduction videos, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe below. Become a member of the Slash Squad. I make new videos every week and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!